<laughs> Good morning. We uh, had a bunch of rain yesterday, so we're out checking pivots. Whew, we're uh, we're low pressure. All right, well, we got to go. Pivot's low on pressure. We got to go see why. We've been having problems with uh, stuff on getting on the screens off the canal here, uh, building up the moth. So we better go see what's going on. Woo! Blood everywhere. Oh, if you can see, but there's a bunch of moss and crap right here on, on the screen trying to come around. Uh, water's not able to get in there. We're going to have to clean that out. That's this is all the crap that was on our screen on the front. All this moss. This is the screen. It's a uh, water flows through. And that's what keeps it filter that crap filtered out for us. I don't know if there's any in the pump. I'll have to go check and see if there's anything on the bottom of the pump plugging it. I hope not. Hopefully that screen's got it all. I can't see anything on the pump down there, but with the pump running, it's going to have it sucked up tight against there. I'll probably have to wait. Go see what the pressure is now. Hopefully we've got enough pressure to keep everything running. And then when we turn this off, I'll have to come and try and clean that off. Hopefully then some of that stuff won't be stuck to it. It'll be floating in there and I can get it out of there. Let's go see what our pressure is now. What was happening was that, was that plugged up, we just couldn't get enough water to flow through there. So we weren't, the pump couldn't build enough pressure because there was enough water. Uh, now it says we're about 60 pounds. So that's a lot better. Pump our fertilizer on. Tank's getting low. And we'll push everything over to the side that we're suctioning from. That should work a lot better. Such it's such lovely weather outside. Yeah. It's actually not too bad outside now, but everything's muddy. It keeps sprinkling off and on. We're gonna do some work inside the shop. Skylar's in here deciding that uh, the bathroom needs repainted and redone. Yes, it does. And I'm gonna start uh, waxing the track tractor, the RT tractor here. It's got uh, got a little sun fade on it, so. Try and clean it up, see if we can get it to look as good as the other one. Skylar and I went and moved wheel lines, and it started raining on us. I don't know if you can really see. There you go. More great Idaho weather. Skylar got the bathroom mostly painted and done. We've got the RT waxed up, at least the hood. It's the main part we're worried about. Looks a little better, a little, a little more shiny. So shiny. No, I didn't sing, I did. That was a mistake, don't put that in there. Anyways, it's raining. I don't wanna do anything else, so we're gonna go home. Good morning, everybody. Today we are working on our combine, we're doing some maintenance. Uh, we had it in at John Deere. They did some stuff, but we didn't wanna pay for them to do everything. There were some things we could do ourselves, like changing these tines. Uh, these are going to go on the rotor. They're a pretty simple place. There's only two bolts holding them on. Uh, we've got a torque wrench, something we're per perfectly capable of doing ourselves. So we're going to go change that. So here is an old one and a new one. On the old one, you can see the hard facings coming off right here. Uh, once that hard facing is gone, they wear out pretty quick. So this is what the new one put be putting on wasn't for the hard facing, we could probably just keep running it. We've got the covers back on, there's the tines, so the grain comes through here, that rotor, this is the rotor inside. Those tines are attached to that we put on. They spin around, thrust the grain. The kernels and any chaff fall through here and goes down through the sieves where we blow air up through and try to separate the chaff from the grain. The grain we want to fall down and the chaff we try to blow out the back end. Skyler says we're ready to run. Well, man, that doesn't want to close. Close. There we go. All right. 
He's changed oil, says we need to run it, so it says we're good to go. Come on, baby. <sighs> Just change the fuel filter. We'll uh, turn the key on, let the lift pump fill that, hopefully. Oh, radio come on. Round two. Come on. Come on. Nope. Negative. No dice. Third time's a charm. Let, hopefully, we'll find out. Third time wasn't a charm. Well, I'm just cycling the key a few times here, trying to get that give that lift pump more time. Dude, man, it's bright in here. Sorry, it's squinting so much. Whew. Anyways, uh, cycling that key a few times, see if we can get the lift pump to push the rest of that air out of there. Don't like to sit and crank over and over on it. Don't want to burn up a starter or anything. Skyler's giving me dirty looks over here. I don't know about him sometimes. Just kidding, Skyler. Ready, set. Oh yeah, let's try it. I'm not patient anymore. Oh yeah, she's running now. And of course the radio has to come on. So I've got to do some work on the fan. So we're gonna open that fan up. Well, it's been a little while since I ran this, so I gotta remember how to even adjust the fan. Oh, right there. Do do do. Gotta wait for the computer to boot up. Waiting, waiting, waiting. There we go. All right, so we wanna take the fan, and it's not gonna let me. Uh-oh, that's not good. Hopefully that's not a real problem. I don't wanna deal with diesel exhaust fluid. Okay, so we can't adjust the fan without the rotor running, so we're gonna have to engage the rotor. Here we go. Ooh, chopper. All right, Philip says we're closed. Let's try again. I always keep a finger here in case uh, we hear something we don't like. We've gotta hurry and turn it off. Ooh, listen. Anything. That's a good sign. All right, now we can adjust the fan. So we want to not speed it up. We want to slow it down. Right here is our fan speed, and see that number going down. That means that clutch on the side that I got to adjust is opening. You just adjust this knob right here. I think that Philip says that's as low as it goes. So now we'll turn the separator off. Go look and see what's going to take take that fan apart so I can rebuild it. Uh, the clutch is just worn out on it. The pins in there, uh, what John Deere says. So we're going to take that part. We got the new part sitting here waiting to be put on. See how we can spin the one side and not the other side. That's the pins inside. They're worn out. And my wife's calling. You guys can hear me we got about 20 mile an hour winds today but we're gonna go ahead and these are the knives that sit inside there are blunt on one side so we need to flip them around so we're gonna pull this rod out that goes well my camera won't focus here if you guys could see there we go this rod right here holds them in so we gotta slide it out and then each one of these man come on camera each one of these we slide out and then we just flip it around and put it back in because it's sharp on one side and worn out on the other Well, thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. 
hope you guys are enjoying this or learning something either way please like and subscribe and we'll catch you guys next time